Well then, welcome back to another Tactical Tuesdays, The Spatials. I've been messing around a little bit over here today, trying to get get some more organisation sorted. The one thing I found out when checking the visitors was the Lemurians have a very neutral opinion of the place. And I've been doing a little bit of research on them. I stopped all the visitors arriving and was monitoring just one group of visitors to have a look and see what the Lemurians really wanted. And figured out that the Lemurians want a vegan feast from the bistro. They want um, mini servos from the cheaper mart. And they want star maps from the cheapo mart as well, I think it is. Yeah, something like that. And they also want juice from the diner. And they also want a sweet. So I put a sweet in because they needed the advanced soap. That was it, the advanced soap. And I figured, well, at the minute I've got this area which is as best as I can expect apart from the bistro. Uh, and I thought, well, I would start expanding out a little bit to give a separate area for the Lemurians. Uh, I, I put a bistro all the way down here for the people, the crew, my my spaceport people, uh, and they probably don't really need it. That was mentioned in the comments as well. They don't really need it. But I've, I've built one down there anyway, and I'm happy with that setup. You've got the kitchens and the two diners areas. It looks pretty cool. And I'm sure they'll need the cravings eventually. So what I wanted to get done this episode is set up an area around here for the Lemurians. And I think this sort of space here should be more than enough for the Lemurians. I've expanded out the starport a little bit so that we've got a little bit more space around us, as it were. And I've also uh, made this so that this area here, where the people come back from their missions, only leads them back into their own place. And these are locked off from officers and visitors. So the officers go straight back down there. But when I need officers to come through, I can open this up to allow the officers. So that's why I've uh, got that now, to allow the officers to come through this way. So they can start building stuff for me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm okay with most resources for human goodies, but the things that I need the most are algae and nitrogen. I did a few little missions uh, earlier. If we have a look at these, look. Uh, I was trying to get all the missions completed, so I've got 100% of level 1 done, 100% of level 2 done, and I started working on getting 100% of level 3 done to maximise the resources that come in from those places. Uh, that's a, a fair amount of water and things like that, but they, they don't cover the nitrogen and algae from these areas. So I'm going to have to do a few more missions in those areas. This one, the algae and nitrogen come from this one sector. And that's a fair amount coming in. I've got to get some more algae coming in from these ones. So I think I might go and do some missions a bit later on to try and get the algae coming in. But for right now, I want to focus on building a little area for the Lemurians. I've noticed that the first thing that the visitors do is run from the spaceport over here, run all the way over to this little area over here to get some food and drinks. The first thing they want is food and drinks. So I figured we would start with food and drinks in this area over here. Uh, so we're going to have a bistro down here. I can't put anything there. So I want it to look neat as well, you see. I want it to look neat. So I'm going to have a bistro for the Lemurians. And I'm going to do a 5x5, five five, I think. Yeah, do a 5x5 five five there. Uh, maybe that, maybe a 4x4, four 4x4 four. Four is probably enough, I'll do a 4x4 four four of that, and I'm also going to do a cheap diner, a 4x4 four four as well I think, and that should go, well, 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 not that, that, that should go just there, and then we got the two 4x4s four four like that, and that should give them the food first point of view when they're coming in, give them food first. Then we've got um, things that they want to buy on their way out. And I was wondering about this. How am I going to get the things that they want to buy on the way out looking good as well? Because 
well, just because, really. It's a, it's a difficult space to fit them in. I want to try and get it so... The, the idea over here was that they could quickly go between any of the sections they wanted. There wasn't a lot of time that they're at the station. So having them quickly being able to cycle through the things that they want is important. And with the Lemurians, they need the Bistro and they need the Cheap Diner. But they also need the Cheapo Mart and the Service Station as two things that they want. So I've put the Bistro here so that, that sort of attracts them to come into this section. And then I'm going to put the cheapo mart and that over here as well with some uh, sweets for the advanced soap. And I think that's going to work. So, shopping wise, we're going to need a cheapo mart. So, oh, cheapo mart. I want a cheapo mart here. So, I'll do another little 4x4 four four cheapo mart. And I want a 4x4 four four space uh, service station as well. And then I'm just going to link all that together so they can start building that and setting all that up running. So we're going to go with there and there, there and there, there and there, there and there. We're going to have the visuals to be able to wander about where they want. So they're going to wander about wherever they feel like it. So I'm going to have a few sections like this coming in just to make it look good. Maybe, maybe not those actually. Maybe not those few. Have it so that they come out like that. That might be the way I want to do it. And then these guys can all come and quickly build that for me while I'm thinking about the next section. The next section is these suites. And having a, a floor with a suite. You can only have one bed in a suite. Uh, and I need a bed and I need the washing area as well. So, I'm going to have to make a little area just for those suites coming off. So, let's go with... Uh, they don't really need a lot of space. They only need, like, the bed and that. So, if I did four there, a four there, a four there, and we could have the four there, four there, and four there. That's not really looking good, is it? That's not, that's not looking so good. Let's get rid of that one there. And let's get rid of these ones here. And put that in again. Let's go with a suite here. There we go. We have four suites. Because that should probably do them. Four suites. And then I can also go through between and make other corridors and stuff go off those. So we'll have a corridor coming off there and there. We'll have a corridor coming off there. And we'll have a corridor coming off there. There we go. That should keep them going. If I have a corridor coming off there, I can have another suite over here as well. So let's have another little four suite there. Uh, other things that I can do is decorate the area with gardens and uh, museums and things like that. But they don't really need to go to those sort of places. So I'm not going to bother messing around with those just yet. Uh, I'm just making sure that they've got all their, their eight actual basic things that they need. And these, uh, these little bits and pieces here I can decorate areas with to make the place look tidier, make the place look nicer. Um, I can place these on any of these sort of areas around here, so that's not bad. And same with the station banners and things like that. Video columns and stuff, I can place those where I want them. So I'm thinking about doing that a bit later on. But the corridors themselves, I think I can actually place corridors next to each other. No, I can't. I can, I can place corridors like that, which I don't want to do, so get rid of that quick. Uh, I wanted to expand the corridors out to make him like wider corridors, but you can't, so I'm not going to be able to do that. The spaceport wise, I can uh, I can expand the spaceport out if I wanted to here and have some sort of like store sections, areas that people can come and buy stuff from. That's another little thing. So while they're busy doing all that, building it all up and getting it all set for me. Um, I'm not really spending a lot of cash on this, actually, at the minute, am I? I'm not really spending too much. But that that gives a good feel to the place. It just gives a nice little area for them to go to. And hopefully that attracts the Lemurians into this section, and then they go back to the spaceport afterwards. If that's all they really need, then that's very close by. So everything's within easy access, so they should be able to get around everywhere very quickly. And there'll be a bedroom, like off from every section so we're gonna have the bed over here we'll have that there yep we'll have a bed over here we'll turn it around a 
have that there, that's good. We'll have the luxury soap there and the luxury soap there. That gets those two started. Uh, we could have a thing as well to make it look nicer, but meh. Maybe if I made these a little bit bigger, then I could also make them look nicer, couldn't I? Let's make uh, another couple on there. Let's just make them a little bit bigger this way, internally, like that. Just to make them slightly better sweets. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. I can still have a corridor going out between them there. That's it. That's good. So I can still extend this out to other areas if I need to go further down in the future. Which I quite like the idea of. I might do that in a bit. Uh, next up then, we've got to uh, stock these areas with the basics of the materials they want. So let's start with the food. We'll go with this. We need to have the crudities, I believe. A uh, fine serving table is the, the food soup, but the crudities, I think, is just the main area that we need. So let's put a, a crudities table. Um, I'm not really sure which way around it goes, but that's there. I'm going to put a second one there as well. And then we're going to have somewhere for them to sit over here. Like that and like that. There we go. Just to make the place look a bit nicer for them in the bistro. That's that section. And this should have the vegan feast in, yes, which is the thing that they need. So I'm going to have a stock of five vegan feasts in there and a stock of five vegan feasts in there for them. In the diner, we're going to have the thing that does the refreshments because they only really need juice from the diner. So we'll have this so that they can buy juice. We'll swap this around that way. There we go. And there. And we'll have a simple table and chair thing again there and there. Just to sort of mirror that one. So it's very simple and they can walk around. There's plenty of walking room to get between everywhere. So they can quickly go where they need to go. Uh, over at the um, this area we need star maps. So the shop we need a star map shelves. So let's have star map shelves there. And... They're also going to need... Well, actually, they only need star map shelves. So we'll just do star map shelves. We'll have a, a display of some kind there to intrigue them slightly. And we'll have a, a rocket there just to up the ante a little bit. And uh, another set of map shelves. Why not? There we go. So we're sticking to a similar sort of design. And then with the other shop... We've got the cheapo mat. They require the servos, which are personal robots. So let's let's just move across this way a little bit. We need the uh, servos, personal robots. That's what they buy from here. So we get that one there and that one there. And we'll throw in some balloons. Just because it looks nice and pretty. There we go. So that's setting those ones up. Uh, we've got the beds again over here well we actually do the showers first i guess showers there and turn it around there we go and shower there turn it around a bit and we'll have a shower there and that's those ones and we'll have a bed in each as well there we go and one up here as well let's throw it that way around i can only just about see through the thing that comes up and uh, now we can have a decorative lamp as well. Just throw it round. There we go. A decorative lamp there. Throw it round. And a decorative lamp in that corner. Why not? Decorative lamp in that corner. Why not? There we go. A little bit of decoration in each room. The basics that they need in each room. And hopefully that should give them everything they need to get going. Hopefully. Hopefully we should have everything the Lemurians need in there. So, I'm going to open it up. Open up the space ports again and see if we can get the Lemurians to come down into the right place. And see if they go to the right places. Hopefully. Go on then. Where have we got? We've got two that are coming in from here. We've got... Yep, they're going in the right places. Look, they're going straight down this way. They're going straight down this way, and the humans are going straight down that way. So that's perfect. The Lemurians have just gone the right way. Let's uh, forbid the officers from going there. And I've got to start uh, teleporting all the officers back to base, as it were, now as well. 
That's the, that's a, a bit of a bind, that is, to teleport all the officers back. If there was a quicker way to teleport them back, I'd love to know. Because they just, once they've done their job, I need to get them out the way so I can see what's going on. Uh, you are officer. You, officer. You, yeah, go back. They, they teleport back in here and then they can go back to base. But until then, they're all stuck over here. Doing uh, doing jack all. Uh, the other thing I've got to look at, instead of going through all that now with you, is to just make sure that the stock's right. So we'll have a minimum stock of two maps in each. There we go. We'll have a stock of uh, ten personal robots in each because they're pretty used, those as far as I know. And we'll have a stock of 10 juice in each of these as well. There we go. Okay. So now the Lemire are getting what they want. They've got star maps, the servos, the vegan feasts. They should be getting the advanced soap. If I had some, they would get the advanced soap. But I don't have any. And they are getting the juices and things like that that they want. But are they heading over this way again? Are they still heading this way? Uh, I'm going to have to clean up all of these people first to get them out the way. Let me just do that. Well, it does sort of seem to be working for the majority. For the most part of it, it is still working. As soon as the Lemurians find the cravings that they need, like the vegan feast and the advanced soap. So this particular Lemurian visitor requires vegan feast and advanced soap. There's vegan feast, but there's no advanced soap. So he's just sort of standing there looking very bad and waiting to go home by the looks of it. But the only place he can get the advanced soap is going to be over this side. And the only place he can get the vegan feast is going to be over this side. So then for the remaining parts of his bits and pieces, his hygiene and his hunger and his sleep and all that, he should stay over this side. Uh, what I need to do is get rid of things like the star maps from over here. I don't need the star maps over there anymore. And I need somebody to be able to go through there. Officers allowed. Actually, if I do a little trick over here, look, I can put a, a gate there with a security gate on it. And then I can unlock that security gate and beam one person over here. They'll potentially go and do it for me. And then I can go and do the rest. Yeah, hopefully, maybe. So you go that way, that's it, make that, and then put a security gate on there, and whoever's doing that can go there, then I can open it up with one thing activated and get one person in there doing a load of work for me. Get a security gate on, come on, why have I got two people going to do security gates? Get on there, come on. Security gate, and now... Thank you. And that security gate is visitors forbidden, officers allowed. So now I should get one person going through there to go and fix this up for me. There you go. And then I can forbid officers from following. So I've only actually got one person to worry about going in there then at that point. I wonder if when I've done that for this one, will they then, uh, like, that's the only one that can do anything. Hey, there's... Uh, there's a second one wandered through, managed to get through and do something. What? Oh my days. How did they get through these forbidden areas? Have I got another area connected? I don't think I've got another area connected, so I don't think that's right. <clears throat> also, the Lemurians buy the personal robots. So, the other thing that I wanted to do was just get rid of these personal robot stands. Because they don't buy personal robots. The, the humans buy souvenirs, not personal robots. So that, again, will draw the Lemurians over to here where the personal robots are available for sale. They buy maps and personal robots. That seems to be like a, a key thing. Personal robots, maps and advanced soap. Uh, vegan feast. Uh, personal robots, maps and vegan feast. And it doesn't require anything apart from sleep and fun. Fun, that's another thing that we haven't done yet. We've got to do something with fun. Uh, we've got juices there. Uh, yeah, vegan feast and advanced soap and things like that. So, I got rid of the maps. I've got rid of the robots. I'm going to get rid of this whole section over here now as well. So that the Lemurians don't bother with this section. And that should work. If the people who were supposed to be here, are they gone to bed? No, that's a visitor gone to bed. There, you. 
Do this job. Do this job over here. Do this job right here. You won't do this job over here, Charlie. Go, go back to base then. Okay. <laughs> you, you go and do this job over here that I've requested. They don't do the nearest person. Are you going to be the nearest person? Are you going to go and do this job? Are you? You're going to do this job. Awesome. Get the nearest person to do the job. That's the the best way forward. I think. I think there's some maybe hovering around here, going like, I can't get there, boss. I can't get there. So hopefully she will do that. The level nine diplomat. Break all this down for me. That's good. All right. So we get rid of all the things that the Lemurians are only going to want over here. So if a Lemurian comes over and he just wants to sleep and he jumps in one of these beds, then well, that's tough, isn't it? If he comes in here and gets juiced, then well, that's tough as well. There's nothing I can do about that. But as soon as they want something specialist Lemurian goods only, they'll come over here. Same with these humans over here. These humans are coming over here for juices and stuff, basic rations and stuff. But as soon as they want some of the things that the humans want, which is like, um, let's say, souvenirs, as soon as they want souvenirs, they've got to come over here because this is where the souvenir shop is. As soon as they want fuel and repair parts, they've got to come over here because that's where the fuel and repair parts are. So hopefully that should separate them a little bit. Not segregating them for a reason, because, well, these guys are all over the place, aren't they? Look. Separating them for a reason, uh, I'm trying to keep the place as efficient as possible. So trying to keep them all efficiently moving around in the right ways. And then also trying to make the place look tidy. So this is a make the place look tidy affair, hopefully. A little area for one, two, three, four, five guest Lemurians to enjoy their stay. And so far, so far, I'm quite pleased with the results. We've got one, two, three, four, five Lemurians over in this general vicinity with no sign of humans. It's not going to be 100% accurate because, of course, we've got, the, uh, we've got an area here that humans are going to want to purchase from. So humans are still going to come and purchase from this area. But the Lemurians should, in theory, have everything they need in this area in a short hop around. A short space around, which should hopefully bring this percentage up quite a lot. Next, I've got to work on getting the resources to make the things that I need. I need this advanced soap to be made quite rapidly, which requires the algae and the nitrogen, I believe. So that's where my next quest is going. Going to get some more questing done. To try and get some more of that sort of stuff. Uh, we got advanced soap. Where was the advanced soap? Advanced soap there? Yeah, advanced soap. Nitrogen. Also, spell check's favourite drink is also requiring nitrogen. Uh, he's managing to get his thirst up because I've uh, done a little bit of work over here to try and get as much algae in production as possible. Algae and nitrogen. So they are over here trying to make as much drink for... Uh, spell check as possible but at the same time they're also trying to make advanced soap out of the nitrogen as well so that is it for this episode we've done a little bit of work over here uh, the next part of this experiment is to slightly redesign the human side of things redesign the human area so that we've got another nice little neat section just for all the human requirements which probably needs to have uh, five, maybe six areas linked together as closely as possible like this so that they can have the maximum effect. And I also need to go off and explore the galaxy in search of more, more, more of these uh, algaes and nitrogen sources. So, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the very next episode of The Spatials on Next Tactical Tuesday.